So, shall we start? Shall we? I suppose so. Ah, this is so... This, I'm not good at this yet. Yes, I know. We all know. <laughs> I don't... Hello uh, out there in TV land. TV land? Hello out there in YouTube land. Are we talking to TV land now? Hello, hello. Welcome to Quaggle. This is, a, this is a, a very, very rough weekly update. Yes. Because... We are uh, in the process of driving back from Kentucky, from Kentucky to, Cleveland. to Ohio. We have to make it back by a certain time. Yep. And we are trying to start the process of vlogging. So I don't like vlogging. I don't like vlogging at all. much it's at like all. It's like pulling teeth. I, it's a combination of not wanting to miss, like mess up personal moments with a camera. Yeah. Uh, the camera being my career, so wanting to take it very seriously and only really having a, I'm either personally involved. I mean, how distracted am I when I have my phone in front of me? You can't even talk to him. He's like oblivious to and the surroundings. And so imagine that except with a camera, meaning I'm actually genuinely working and not just scrolling through YouTube comments. It's it's an issue. So I don't want to mess up personal moments. And then I You're also very black and white on this. There's I no also balance. want to professionally tell a story, and it's it's just so frustrating. And so we have some clips from the trap trip. Not very many. We're working. This is the low bar. We're setting the bottom rung of what you can expect so that every week we can get a little bit better. We just got done recording a few minutes ago, and then we went outside, and then it did this. Boring. Is this an exciting vlog? <laughs> you look drenched. Very damp. Okay. That's it. I don't know what we're doing. We're gonna figure it out. The strip is for practice. Vlog a 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 vlog so we are doing our very best to figure out how to start actually vlogging. Uh, I, this is this is a mess, but luckily we'll get better, right? Isn't that the isn't that the motto? Hopefully. Okay. We gotta keep practicing. A solid. This does not make perfect. A but it solid. Improves. Well, nothing makes us perfect. No. Thank God. We have no top shot. It's we we well no top shot. Of course, we're we're also yelling at the camera right now <laughs> because what you can't see is a couple hundred, maybe a hundred yards that way. We've got a interstate, we, probably the busiest interstate in Ohio. One of them that yeah. we decided to stop at that has semi truck after semi truck after semi. I mean, no, literally, I'm just counting them as One, they pass two, at this three, point. I can four, see seven five, currently driving six, across. Seven. So if yep. the audio is terrible. If the lighting's awful, if the personalities suck, just this is the bottom rung of the bottom rung. We cannot blame rung. the personalities on the location. We can blame them on you. That's true. That's true. So we were just down in Kentucky for two and a half, three days. There is a dog over there. Ah, look, we're just going forward. Let's start with the beginning of the week. Why are you skipping to Thursday? I don't know. I'm, right. just, I'm trying to let we, people know. We, I'm, listen, we I'm stressed posted, out. We last posted our update on Saturday. On Saturday, we had two friends come over. We did. We did. We played a massive game. One of the oh games that's going goodness. to be in the title of the description. We played Eclipse Second Dawn for the very first time for both of us. Yeah. Uh, this is a game that's compared to ISS. Uh, uh, not ISS. Compared to, uh, what is it? Twilight Imperium. I was yeah. thinking uh, the Imperium side of that. Uh, this is a massive space exploration 4X game. Have you ever played a full 4X game before? No, I didn't know what a 4X game was. Explore, so expand, exterminate. I, yes, I was told uh, the exploit. definition. Exploit, I don't know. There's a lot of all the E's you can think of. Exit from the game, possibly. <laughs> it was at least five hours, I think. It was a five hour game. It yep. was intense. Granted, we weren't playing very productively. We had a lot of analysis paralysis. Sure. But it was five. Excuse what? you, it was you and your friends. No, 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 I took no, no, the no. quickest turn. I took very effective. I took the quickest turn. Yeah, you would go to the couch. That's how so, like non-effective you lost. So Matt, Matt was over. He's the one that brought the game. He was also on the channel with a scythe video that we just recently put up this week. Five reasons not to play. An old friend that was finally able to make it back in touch with us. Uh, he brought the game, taught it to us. I was efficient enough with my turns by the very end of the game. 
I was seven steps ahead of everyone and just waiting for it you to finish. You basically just said, here's my next four turns. Let me know when y'all are done. That's, That's how disinterested you got and not, not engaged. Not disinterested and not engaged. Yes. I didn't, the puzzle was done for me. I, I'd done, I kind of shot my shot. Like, And you didn't win. And I didn't win, no. I, I, I'd, I'd made a big move to conquer a big area to score a lot of points and I failed dramatically. The odds were on my side and the dice rolling screwed me so hard that I just, it was over. There was no coming back from that. And even the people around the table, Matt, who knew the game, who's played it a dozen times, looked at me and said, that shouldn't have happened. I yeah. understand why you're out. Like, it, it, it was just, it was wind out of your sails type of moment. We played a whole bunch of other games over the weekend. We did. What'd you think of Hot Take on Eclipse, though? We'll be doing more in-depth content, but Hot Take on Eclipse. I want to play, we played with the alien versions. We didn't do the recommended human versions first. So we played sure. asymmetric, sure. which I like asymmetric usually. I want to play, now that I understand the mechanics, now that I know the structure, I want to play again. Less people in a better setting with less analysis paralysis. That's my take. I like the idea of it. I don't mind long games. I'm down to sit down for a couple hours to play a game, but that was a little brutal. I I still really like the overhead conversation of Twilight Imperium. You haven't had the chance to play that no. yet. Uh, I would play Eclipse again. In fact, I, I want a copy. Like I'd love to have a copy where we could sit down, study it, play Only it, with get the better best at components. it. components. Uh, yes, I, I'm, the, the components were gorgeous. The components were fantastic. I, I would love a copy of this game. However, I think it's a game that I get to the table like once every two to three months. Not regularly, that not common. I was thinking six to 12 months. If I have a game group where I could actually play yeah. it, I would, I would love to get it to the table more. Be but the trick is, night. the trick is not reteaching people the game. Yes. It'd be a great Shabbat game. It would yeah. be a great game night game. I just... It's just a hard one to get to the table, and you, I want to play with experts. Yeah. I don't want to play with a lot of people that just knew. The first game was fine. We all were brand new to it. Yeah. I don't want to sit through that again with a bunch more people. And I think the playtime can get down to two to three hours if you're efficient. Maybe. If you're efficient. That's what yeah. Matt has said. Uh, what else did we play over the weekend? So, with Jan, I played Airland and Sea. I played what Project you think of L. That? You were absent. I was absent for both of those. I had a wedding. Those are both top game, good games. I like classic them both. games. Simple, yeah, good classic. head to head two player. Yep. Project L is going to be sort of a Tetris -y spatial yes. recognition, putting mm -hmm. in pieces to score as many points as possible. Uh, that is a fun, straightforward game. Yes. Uh, and Airland and, and Sea. Airland and Sea is a classic. It's a classic two player head to head. I really like it. It reminds me similarly of Blitzkrieg. You know Blitzkrieg. Uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm distracted by the dog You are so distracted by the so dog, distracted by the dog. Focus on the camera. We have a job to do. So I did Airland and Sea and Project L. Then the next day we played Kingless. We did Eclipse, which we've talked about. Crash, Octopus, Cockroach Poker, and Gingopolis. Uh, you didn't play Gingopolis. I did not play Gingopolis. So let's you go through it. the other ones first. Kingless. Having trouble remembering that one. Kingless is going to be a game that is... <laughs> Uh, primarily, primarily about cycling and playing cards from your hand in order to gather resources and score a lot of points. Uh, it's got a little bit of head-to-head. -head. It plays similar to how uh, it plays similar, honestly, to how uh, it's a simpler version. Is that of, with all the trolls? And, it was all the trolls. Yes. And I'm trying to think of the cute. two. I like the artwork. Uh, Red Rising, and then there's another one we compare okay. to Red Rising. It plays like a simpler version of those. And to be honest, the artwork, the aesthetic, the idea behind the game is fantastic. Yeah. We all wished it played a little bit more advanced. Yes. We all wish it had a little bit more depth to it. Uh, so, decent, uh, decent family I, I game. I just annihilated you both within the first 15 minutes. It, it was too easy. It's one of those where the kind of the luck of the draw and the card play really didn't give you a lot hey, of I choices. I had some skill. I had some skill and played it well. That's true. Um, yeah. We did Crash Octopus, which was a disaster. It Crack was. Crack o Crash Octopus is one of Jan's games that he absolutely loves. Uh, it's going to come from an indie publisher overseas out of Japan. I don't like you didn't those like it. games. That, what is it called? Um, when you have to do stuff and throw dexterity. stuff? Dexterity. You're I don't flicking, like, you're yes. flicking, you're hitting, you're stacking. I don't Jan, like dexterity games at all. Jan was all about trying to crush us. Yes. Wait, and then he kept revising, adding rules and Jan rules. Jan kept adding rule as, after rule. He played it as a pirate. He did, he, yeah. So he already was a little asymmetric, and then he kept like saying, oh, and by the way, this is how I get a whole bunch of points here. By the way, this is how I steal this from you. 
Yeah, um, if you hit the island, you get whatever was on it. Yeah. If it drops off your boat, it should go to the island. Like, a lot of little caveats. I think the game's fun. I think it's an interesting little dexterity game. I would encourage people who like dexterity games to check it oh, out. Oh, definitely. If you like dexterity uh, games, that's not my area. But it's not a quick sell for me. All right, Cockroach Poker, classic. Always a classic. Oh, I don't even think we need to say no, anything. We, Such a good game. So good. So yeah. much fun, especially with new players. You have the shortest attention span. You're I like am a sorry. Squirrel. All my mind is hearing right now is the videographer in my brain is screaming about the road that is that way. Okay, so turn the video on. And the dog off. and the dog barking. Off. I I off. Uh, okay. Off. I mean, I'm trying. All right, Gingopolis. I didn't play this, so you talk. Focus. Gingopolis is going to be one of Jan's favorite games. I believe he's working on his top ten list, and it is solidly within the top section of that list. This is going to be a game that's all about. Uh, building your own tableau of resource generation and then stacking cards to build a city district in the center mm. And the the crux of it is you're going to be trading in resources in order to escalate that city going level up higher and higher That means you're going to be dominating regions with your meeples going to be stealing regions from other players and going to be generating Higher decks of cards or, or higher resource generation based off of how high you can get that stack Ooh. So it's got some interplay between the players. It's got some really interesting kind of middle uh, tableau or resource generation build and it's got a little bit or a decent amount of drafting. So you're going to be passing cards around the table, you're going to be selecting your action and then passing your cards. So the entire game is selecting from a rotating pool or rotating hand of cards. So you sort of know what's in play, you know what you're giving to your opponent, and you know what's going to be coming back to you. Uh, overall, Ooh. I thought the game was really interesting. I think you and Alex would like it quite a lot. Interesting. Uh, I'd be down to play. I don't know that I'm, that I don't know that I'm hungry to play or, or, or play again, but it does have a little bit of area control. Ooh. It does have drafting, yeah. and it's got some asymmetric tableau building. So Ooh. I think you'd do really well. Maybe we'll play that one with Jan on camera when we're back this week. That'd be fun. Okay. Sunday, we drove to Cleveland. I worked a 12-hour night shift oh in the hospital. Oh, my nose is so itchy. You're a disaster. <laughs> you are a disaster. That's what I'm going to title this video. After you post it, I'm going to change it to Jesse is a disaster. Okay. So, Sunday, we drove back to Cleveland. I worked. Monday, I worked as well. 12-hour yeah. night shifts. You, over that time period, Occupied yourself by playing with Alex. You yeah. played Chronicles of Junagar. You did a lot of short form films. Yeah. You did Ares Expedition again. Uh, we did. So we did. We have we have another gameplay of Ares Expedition coming out probably in a couple of weeks. Uh, hot take. There's there's some like new information we have on that game that's going to shift it. You're like leaning out of the camera frame, by the way. Just just so you know, cool. just keeping it centered up. There we are. Uh, that's going to be cool. That's a video worth checking out. Alex is going to have some hot takes on it as well, uh, outside of what we've already done as a group. Chronicles, Chronicles of Drinagar, uh, so good. So much fun. They've added story. We also have, I mean, Wild Ascent is also showing up. Both those games are just head over heels, leaning into the parts of the game that I like the most, which is the storytelling, choose your own adventure, consequences for what you've done. Speaking Alex, of choose your own adventure and storytelling, Alex just sent me a message. We are working on starting a campaign of Gloomhaven, Draws of the Lion. We have it. We have it. Yeah. That hasn't made us, we've had it for over a week now. It hasn't made it any easier to get it to the table. That's true. You are looking for the perfect spot to start filming. But we're, we're, we're getting there. The first five episodes are going to be over on Patreon. Uh, and then we're going to start the campaign officially yes. on the channel. Um, with like behind the scenes and extra clips and stuff over on Patreon. The idea is the first five are sort of the learning sessions, so we'll get our feet underneath us. I've already read the rule book for the first session. I'm then, excited to play. I picked my character. Yeah, I'm ready to go. We're going to be filming this week. Yay. So content coming very soon uh, on Jaws of the Lion. We're excited to dive in. And if we love this, the plan is to There's continue through... There's a huge more boxes, I think. The, the, giant, the giant big box. All right, Tuesday. I had a pool night with Rena and Ricky from Board Game Co. I went swimming. That's true. You were boring and there stayed home. There is a siren now. This is oh just... Oh my gosh. I'm gonna shoot you. I might. I have that on camera. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna smack you at the back of the head. All right, went swimming and then we played that night. We played Flamecraft with Alex Ooh. and we did a great wall yes. playthrough. Yes. Uh, Flame an expansion. Flamecraft is a brand new game coming out from Project Project Alchemy. Uh, okay. This is the same group that made Mission Catastrophe, which was one of my it's most cute, anticipated. Chibi little it has dragons. adorable chibi, chibi little dragons. It has uh, really interesting, like kind of community tableau building. Yeah. You're working around worker placement combined with uh, sort of city generation. resource generation, city development. It's a lightweight introductory family game, which I'm expecting to get a little bit more complex when we get expansions for it. Uh, we all like this one. Yeah. We all we all it think adorable this is adorable, and we want to play it again with the family. I could see this being a in-store big box like uh, like 
com competitive with things like Splendor, Ticket to Ride. This is a game that, if it hits the right venue, hits the right vein, uh, is a really great introductory game into our into our hobby yeah. space. Wednesday we drove to Kentucky. We didn't talk about the Great Wall. You didn't uh, because you left a pregnant pause. Great Wall with the expansion. Cool. You played. I did. How good was it? It was amazing. I think I won. I won you by can't, like. You can't say that. The gameplay isn't out yet. But I won by so many points. I also don't think you won. I think I did. I'm denying it. Now I, they'll never know. They'll have to watch the gameplay. The gameplay we played with the black powder. I think maybe powder. I came in second. You came in last. That was for sure. We played with a black powder expansion, uh, and it takes the game up to a whole nother level. Yes. Um, I'm excited to play again. I want to continue. Even messier. I want to do some cooperative stuff. It is this game is, and we'll have an updated review because we had our first impressions. We'll have a full in-depth review sooner or later. Like we're not one of those channels that just does you know only first impressions all the time. We like to keep you informed and and update you as we go through the process. And so we're gonna have a full review just like we're doing with all these titles. Yes. Uh, and right now, hot take, it's getting so good. And it's there's just even more things to add. Yeah. There's, so there's, the, I'm, I'm, I'm loving where this game is going. It when, is messy. It is hard to table. Mwah. Wednesday, we drove to Kentucky. We did. We were going back to Kentucky to pick up a big carload of games. Uh, you're selling some stuff, and uh, visit your grandparents. which is great. And visit my grandparents. My grandfather uh, is currently doing radiation treatment. Yep. Uh, and so Wednesday and Friday were his, were his clinicals. Uh, so Thursday, we stopped by, spent the day with them. I took a nap on their couch. For three uh, hours. For three hours. You ended up helping in the garden. I gardened. I pounded poles. I lifted poles. I lifted a pole that neither your grandmother or your grandfather together could lift. I pushed a tractor out of a ditch that my grandmother drove it into. It wasn't a tractor. It was a lawnmower. So, you know, think Tractor, mini. lawnmower, riding tractor. Think little scale. It was very, very impressive. No, it wasn't. All of that would have been great to... I picked to zucchini <laughs> and I picked yellow squash and they have trees and it's gorgeous. Yeah. All of that would have been great to vlog. We didn't. I tried. Yeah. I brought out the camera. We certainly thought about it though. And again, bottom rung. So if you're still watching here, it's just going to get better. We also had a peeing puppy. Oh, are you telling this story? Yes. Okay. You tell it. So my parents just got a brand new adorable dachshund. Like, Possibly a really long wiener it's, dog. It, well, it's not a wiener dog. It, it's it's like a it's like a hound. It's a hound of some sorts. It's got a big old woo 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 woo, <laughs> and it's got the big floppy ears and feet that are too big for it to walk. And so yes. it was downstairs whining. We showed up. You were going to He's bed. Eight weeks old. I was doing some editing, and and you were like, let the puppy come visit. Like let the puppy come say say hello. Opened up the cage. It kind of rumbles upstairs. I watch it go in. It flumbles onto the bed, and then the moment it gets up onto the bed. It pees. Apparently, you need to let eight-week-old puppies outside before you let them journey upstairs. I, like, grab it and take it <laughs> off the bed, somehow place it directly above your shoe. <laughs> it begins filling up your shoe, which I then rinsed out. I just grab it by the holster and just <laughs> wheel it downstairs. It's peeing the whole way. I toss it outside, let it finish up its business while I start dealing with the mess that it created. And you, I believe, roll over to the other side of the bed and just look at me as if it's my fault. Yeah, because you brought an eight-week-old puppy upstairs without letting it out. That is your fault, 100%. It's almost like you never had a dog. My goal was to bring joy to the world, and I succeeded as far as I'm concerned. What else did we accomplish? I think that's the story. I mean, now we're on we the road. We catch football, soccer inside a park. We did. That was Are fun. Are you not going to mention that? That was fun. No, I wasn't going to mention that. We found rainbow balls. We I did. got to chuck them at your head. That's true. It was very I beat up a stick. You did. Yeah. You did a really cool. You found a massive stick that had injured me. Yeah. So you attacked it and rolled over and like broke it into pieces. It was very impressive. It's a stick. It's an inanimate <laughs> object. It's not very impressive. Uh, but no, we had that's... frozen yogurt today on our way back. It was delicious frozen Fro yogurt it was... in Cincinnati. It was delicious frozen yogurt in Cincinnati. Mine was better Cincinnati. than yours. I had strawberry. I had, had, I had white peach. White peach. Uh, Mine's both, better. Both were delicious. Uh, either way, we're, we're now going to like go catch the train, hit the road, make it up to Cleveland in time. No train. Uh, I'm going to, we're going to be playing board games with Alex yep. through the weekend. We're going to be heading to Maryland on Sunday. We point. have a whole lot more stuff that we need to film. Maryland's going to be a good place for us to do some Kingdom Death, for us to dig into Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion. Uh, and we have a pile of games down there to cover with Jan as well. Yeah. So, yeah. I think Beast. Upcoming. Beast is upcoming. I think that was the one I meant. I remember him mentioning. We, Phantom West distilled yes. needs still distilled. still be covered. We have we have a lot of stuff. We have a lot of stuff on the table. Cute idea we for might, distilled. We might do like a two-player head-to-head -head on distilled as well. 
I'd love to do distilled. We'll see, you liked it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lots of news, lots of things. This is already 20 minutes long. She wants to get on the road so she can start swimming. I've got some hard deadlines to hit. Uh, She's being tortured through this whole video with the sound. If you've made this, made it to this point, leave a comment down below. Would you like to actually start seeing more of these? Travel vlogs, updates, our thoughts, first impressions. Very uh, impromptu things that are a little messy that you'd have to bear with. Would and, you like to see those? And here's the thing, we're gonna do them whether or not you comment, because at this point, We'd like to do this. Yeah. It's just, it's complicated. And you have to accept less than <sighs> perfection. Okay, well, I'll let her sign off. She's someone, I'm going somewhere. Until next time, have a good one.